Okay, so we're back in the fucking Naga fucking temple. Fucking. And uh, honestly, I am so immensely done with this place. I am so thoroughly done with this place. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the boss chamber. We're going to give that another quick once over. I, I'm i certain I missed something there. Like, if the key to get into the boss chamber is out in the rest of the dungeon somewhere, that is just beyond bad game design. I feel like it, it has to just be, it has to be in there somewhere. So we're gonna we're gonna go back to the the boss chamber. We're gonna we're gonna give it another scour, and if we don't find anything, we're just gonna be on our merry way. Frankly, this is the wrong way. We're just gonna be on our merry way because I mean, we have so much else on our plate right now. We've got so many other things we can be doing. We could be talking to the grey mares. We can be bringing blood to to the the goblin king. We can be fucking um, hunting down big bad mog. We got two other temples we need to explore we got so much shit to be doing and i don't want to be wasting any more time in this cesspool of poison and booby traps thank you very much i'm 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 very done with this place uh, i think this was the way right i think this was the way i think we have to go back through the fire and that's just fine some, sometimes life gives you lemons to make lemonade with. Sometimes it gives you fire to make creme brulee with. And that's what I'm doing. I'm making creme brulee. <laughs> is, is that is that a good is that a good metaphor? Probably not. But you can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> I mean, you can. That, that's just incorrect. You can definitely blame a guy for trying when his efforts are that bad. But <laughs> there's something here. I can smell it. I can smell when a game wants to give me something and just doesn't know how to go about it. When, it, when it's just a video game with social anxiety. It's just afraid of, of coming up to me and being like, Hey, I've got a key for you so you can go into the new place. It's just, it's just afraid. That's fine. We all get that way sometimes. There we go. That's got to have done something. See, it's amazing what you can spot when you actually pay attention, isn't it, Joe? Wonder what that did do. What did that do? Did that do good? Do, do good? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> look, look. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. At least I amuse myself. Uh, see, there was a gate over here, I think, which I'm hoping will have opened from pressing that snake head. I think this was it. Yep, cool. So this should be a new place. Once again, just ignoring all of the fucking chests. I'm sure there are marvellous things in them, but I really can't be fucked. See, that's just, that's just brought me to a chest. Unless there's something down there, but I don't think so. I'm assuming that's just going to be the water below... One of these indents. Hmm. Unless the key is in the chest. <laughs> this is a stretch. I don't think I've ever seen a key be in a chest before, but I I'm 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 certain. I'm certain there's something here for me. Somewhere. Are you actually kidding me? I, I apparently am psychic now. I apparently have seen the future. I don't like what I've seen. So this should hopefully... Can I make that jump back? That looks like a pretty... Uh... Oh no, it's fine. This should hopefully open the locked door on the other side. What the fuck are those snakes here? Yes, I just said, what the fuck are there snakes here? I guess, I guess that makes sense. I could be like, what the fuck? Are there snakes here? I just, I just didn't, I didn't punctuate my sentence correctly. But uh, what, what should have come out of my mouth there was, why the fuck are there snakes here? Because why the fuck are there snakes here? You know? I wonder how many more keys I've missed just from not opening all these fucking chests. <laughs> That might have been my problem all along, to be honest. That might be why I've been failing this dungeon, because I've not been looting things. 
I'm sure I've never seen a key be in a chest before, but I guess it's the first time for everything. Let's, uh, I've already got room for this. Robes of regeneration. Ooh, they're quite good. Honestly, like, okay, mine have a lot more armor. But that four regen and plus six parry. I mean, fuck it. I mean, fuck it is what I mean. I'm going to go back to wearing the old skin tight leathers, but that's fine. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a, that was a, that was a good one. Oh, I felt every inch of that one. It coursed through me. It was like an exorcism. Right. We need to now not be here anymore. I was honestly kind of hoping that was going to be one of the relics I needed to find and not just a really cool robe. Um, but... I guess we can't all be winners. I am kind of worried that I have missed something here. Do we remember exactly what Emindor said to do? I feel like one of the relics was in the Forbidden Lands. Yes? Yes? Forbidden Lands? Yes? Are we agreed on Forbidden Lands? One of the relics was in the the dead tunnel. <laughs> the battlefield of the dead. Is that what it was called? Did I get that right? I think I got that right. But there's more. Hang on. Hang on. I know how we can know what we're looking at here. I know how we can we can we can have a proper There's not a lot more. There is more. Is it possible to go up there? It really doesn't look like it is. So I guess I guess that's just for show. And on this side, I don't even see where this room's meant to be. It doesn't even exist, I don't think. Look, okay. Okay, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, one of those relics. We really don't have it in our log at all, do we? I mean, we've got that. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Um, yeah, worst case scenario. We leave here. We later find out that we were meant to be here for for a relic. And I guess we come back. I mean, we've 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 solved all the puzzles. We've opened all the passageways. It's not the end of the world if we have to sprint back through this dungeon to to, to give that room yet another once over, right? It's not. It's not actually the end of the world. It might feel like the end of the world because we're incredibly, incredibly prone to over-exaggeration, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's honestly not. It's honestly fine. What is the end of the world is me trying to work out how the fuck I get back to the entrance from here because I don't really remember. I'm assuming... No, I know where it was. I know where it was now. I'm not dumb, you're dumb. Shut up. <laughs> uh, unrelated note, but I finished two Zelda games in the last couple of days. Yes, I know I've not been uploading much, and it is because I have been playing Zelda games when I should be, you know, dedicating my time to developing my channel and all that, but fuck you, I want to play Zelda games. Um, oh fuck, that was, uh, that was a close call, wasn't it? That was a close call. But yeah, I have finished both the uh, Cadence of Hyrule, which is a very cool little game. I've not played Necrodancer before, which Cadence of Hyrule is, you know, I won't even say based on, it's lifted from. It's, it's you know, pretty much the same game, just with some nice Zelda graphics pasted on top. Um, 
But I've not played Cadence. Uh, I've not played Necronancer, but I have played Cadence now, and it's very cool. Um, completed it in about five hours with a mate of mine. We've co-opted it. I, th I think it will be the sort of game that's going to be a lot harder if you play it single player, but, uh, you know, um, it was fun. Got a bit of RSI. <laughs> Honestly, you do just have to be, like, pressing buttons every half a second to a second for five hours straight. If you, if you want to sit, complete it in one sitting, which is uh, a little bit uncomfortable on the old thumb. Uh, but it, it, it's nifty. I, I've, I've not played a rhythm game since... Uh, what's that one? Um, Audio Surf. Audio Surf I played to fucking death. And Beat Hazard as well is another one. Both uh, indie games that uh, use your own music, which was always the draw for me, because I could listen to whatever the fuck I wanted to and play some sort of game that synced up with that to some degree, which was always very, very cool. Um, I did always used to quite like Guitar Hero as well, even though I was always quite bad at it. <laughs> um, but it's gone the wrong way again here, haven't I? But yeah, I've not played a rhythm game in many a year now. So uh, it was it was pretty cool to uh, play one and have it themed after my uh, my favourite franchise. So hooray for that! I've also completed uh, Link's Awakening, the remake. Again, didn't take very long. A uh, bit more than five hours for that one. Probably could have done it a lot quicker if I, you know, understood it. <laughs> it's it's very product of its time. Honestly, if you've never played an older Zelda then boy will you be in for a treat playing the re the remake of Link's Awakening because it's very cryptic there's one bit that stuck in my mind in particular where um, I literally couldn't continue until I cut down just a, a random fucking bush just a bush not a bush that brought my attention particularly just just a bush that was out there in the world I had to cut that down and I got to, uh, some stairs to progress from doing that but aside from that, um, it's very cool. It's very dark. Everyone who says Majora's Mask is the darkest Zelda has never completed Wind Waker. Uh, not Wind Waker? Not Wind Waker. Uh, Link's Awakening. Sorry, they both have Wake in the title. Um, yeah, the, the, the ending to that game is... It's very dark, <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah, that aside, I had a lot of fun with both of them. I, I, I'm a big Zelda fan, so, you know. I'm biased, I know, but, you know, two games I've never played before, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed both. I'm thinking I might have already spoken about the, the cryptic hidden stairs under a bush in a previous video, probably of this exact same game, in which case I can only apologise for repeating myself. I tend to forget what I've said and what I haven't, it's, a, it's the curse of being the sort of guy who rambles a lot. But, uh, yeah, uh, that, that thing I said about Zelda, it's cool. It, it, it kind of sucks to me that Zelda has taken the turn it has, because I know a lot of people enjoy, this is something I've harped on about again and again and again, I know, but I know a lot of people enjoy big open world games, and that's fine. You know, you like what you want to like, but it's not necessarily what I like. I can enjoy an open world game, but I don't think the reason I enjoy it is ever because it's open world, you know what I mean? Um, it's usually more despite of that. And I fucking love Zelda, and it, it kind of... It, it, it's a source of some minor melancholy for me that it's, it's turned into something else, that it's not the game it once was. As I say, people seem to love it. Breath of the Wild was received incredibly well. It's game of the year for loads and loads of people, and it's great that people are enjoying that, but I just wish it had been a different game instead of taking a franchise I love and shifting it into that. But these things happen, I suppose. These things happen. Yeah, obviously we got the sequel to Breath of the Wild coming fairly soon. It... it you know, I'll probably buy it. I'll probably play it. I, I didn't hate Breath of the Wild by any stretch. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what comes of that. We'll see what comes of that. One thing I did notice, and this might be potential spoilers for what's coming up on this very channel, but uh, a mate of mine actually linked a um, 
an Ocarina of Time. I don't even want to call it a mod because what it is, I think it's called uh, Zelda 64 Night and Day or something. I can't remember exactly. There's a title or something like that. Don't don't hold me to that. If you search that, you'll probably get the result I'm talking about. But it's literally an entire new game made in the Ocarina of Time engine with Ocarina of Time assets, you know. Um, so it's a lot of familiar stuff. Kind of like Majora's Mask, really. <laughs> uh, but it's a new experience, and that might be something I'll play on the channel, honestly. Because I, I fucking, I fucking love Ocarina of Time. I love me some Ocarina of Time. It's a, it is a good time to be a Zelda fan if you're playing Ocarina of Time, you know. So, uh, is it Ocarina or Ocarina? Ocarina. Who knows? I'm not going to pretend to be intelligent. <laughs> and so the stars deliver you here. And ah, here you are. She floats! Wow, you truly are all powerful. I am Theroxia, seer of the stars. I watch the motions of the heavens and divine the nature of things to come. I know you search for the relics of time. I do. For the stars have revealed your course to me. Alas, before you ask of how it will end, I must warn you that I can only illuminate the way. For your journey leads into realms of such darkness that nothing can be revealed thereafter. I thought I recognized the names to Roxy. This is the one Emindor was sending me to. I completely forgot about this. This is probably going to be very helpful with finding out these relics of power. Atop the eastern range, beyond the battlefields of the dead, That's one. lies the gateway into the realm of shadow and dark, the Shadow Room. This is the domain of the Lord of Shadows. Mm, that's not a good name. Composed of eternal <laughs> yes, let's fight that. To enter his world, you will need a crystal stone from the shadowy Netherlands, from whence he cometh. Such a stone can be found upon the Isle of the Damned in the Sea of Woe, north of the Shadow Room. The shadowy Netherlands. That's not a very nice way to speak about Dutch people. <laughs> so, we need a stone that can be found... Upon the Isle of the Damned in the Sea of Woe, north of the Shadow Ruins. Okay. Upon the waters of the Sea of Woe, the Lord of Shadows has conjured a trap for any who would invade his temple. An obstacle too formidable to pass. However, there is another way, a small causeway, that runs through the mountains west of the sea. Well hidden by the sleeping guardians of the forest. I found them. They didn't like me much. That's a common theme in this game. People don't seem to like me much. Seek the ancient totem of the tree, worshipped by the primitives in the savage lands along the southern border. Right, so... We need to find the totem of the tree to get to the, past the tree people so we can find the... The... What? The crystal of some shit which is in the Sea of the Damned which we can then use to get into the shadowy Netherlands or some shit so we can get the thing. So we need... It's just a lot of collecting things to get places. The totem will awaken the guardians of the forest, and the passage they protect will lead you to the Sea of Woe and the Isle of the Damned. And lots of other places with ominous sounding names. Beneath the ancient reliquary of the Shadow Room, you will find what you seek, the Relic of Power. Beware, for the Lord of Shadows will know you are there, and will attempt to lure you into his realm and add you to his host of trapped souls. All right, so we need to. So the first thing we need to do is get the totem of the tree. We can sort of cover the rest of all of that as we as we get to it. Emindor sends his regards. I could not warn him of the danger he faced, for the same protections that kept the wizard Volga from piercing his tower also served to keep me out until it was too late. In time, however, Emindor will come to view the scar of his battle in a remarkable new light. Okay, uh, I see Kellowin, by the way. Elowin Davenmore, the young girl whose destiny is guided by the Star of Mystery. Ooh. She is enveloped by a powerful shroud of magic, and no spell or gaze can land upon her. That's convenient. The Star of Mystery appears only as it crosses the path of another, and then disappears just as suddenly. To catch the Star of Mystery, you must navigate the labyrinth of possibilities, and find the path leading where it is to be. That meant nothing. You just said some fucking garbage. You might as well have just said, you know what? You know what, Fabio Dungo? I don't know where she is. And that would have 
I would have respected you a lot more for that, honestly, Star Roxy. May the stars light your way. May the stars suck your dick. Okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> oh, she'd honestly probably quite like that though. She seems quite keen on the stars. <laughs> she'd <laughs> she'd appreciate some astral body fellatio, I am certain. Right. This was actually an accidental detour because I was just sort of following the wall. Just doing a bit of exploration. I actually thought this was one of these things. One of these places I need to put on those crystals of power for whatever reason I was doing that. Um, but turns out I accidentally found some plot. Some actually quite helpful plot. So I assume this up here is the Sea of Woe. But we can't just go through there for reasons. So we need to go through here to get to there. And for that we need to go to the Savage Southern badlands or something which i'm assuming is going to be down here we did actually in fact if we just f5 this real quick and get a bit of a better look at what we're dealing with um it could be down here it could be over here it's gonna be somewhere south though is what i'm getting from all this before we do anything else i want to quickly return to skulldoon because um i have blood i have blood to deposit I also have um, an awful lot of shit to vend and would quite like to buy some poison curing potions because you may have noticed I have been poisoned for a while now. <laughs> it's kind of why I equipped that regen armor more than anything else and I hope to counteract the poison which it seems to be doing. I don't think my health has dropped anymore, it's it's staying fairly consistent so I think I've, uh, I'm onto a winner with that one. But first, before we do anything, because yeah, as I say, this poison isn't Causing me too much strife right now. Let's go and see whatever his name was. Uh, Z -Z -Z Zortag. That's the name I made up. Can I can I go in, please? Yeah, I need to see him. Vartog. I wasn't far off. I got some of the letters right. One moment. Don't keep Vartog waiting. <laughs> All right, Vartog. I I come bearing blood. It's, uh, I don't know why I'm bringing you this blood. But... I have heard that young Grey Man managed to escape the Naga, with your help, of course. And you have his blood. Good, good. But tell me, have you obtained the letter of alliance for me from the elder Grey Man? Uh, not yet. What? Have you forgotten our agreement? Did I not keep my part of the bargain? Your failure to honor your word. I'm sure you remember the penalty for failure. I believe then that I'm being quite fair to ask of you what I will until you have delivered upon your part of our bargain. I will give you more time to procure the letter of alliance from Elder Greyman. But for this, I want you to do something additional for me. Probably should have got the letter of alliance from the Elder Greyman before we, we did this. Long ago I gave something to someone. And now I want it back. It was a small token of payment on a rather unusual contract. But time is running out. And soon they will be coming to collect the remainder of their fee. I want you to renegotiate on my behalf. I will warn you that the one you must seek is difficult to reach. But I am counting on you to prove ready to the task. I'm always ready to the task. You must journey into the Vale of Ruin and find the Unholy Ark. Though only the druids know the secret to enter this desolate place. When you reach the unholy ark, place the vial of Greymare's blood upon the altar and wait for a messenger to arrive. Tell the messenger that you seek a bargain with Maratus. Then do exactly as the messenger tells you. When once you reach Maratus, bargain with him as you will. But do not leave until you have reclaimed what is mine. All right. Uh, all right. Fine. I will do all that at some point. I will be off. I thought the. I told uh, Greymere that the uh, the blood was for finding Elowen, right? But I think that was a lie. I think I lied to him. I feel very bad about that now, because <laughs> I just took a guy's blood for nefarious purposes. <laughs> But I suppose at the same time, I let him out of a prison cell and 
saved him from the snake people. Presumably saved him from the snake people. I let him out of the prison cell at least. He, uh, the rest was kind of in his court at that point. I'm not gonna lie. He, uh, he, uh, yeah, had uh, a bit of a chore on his hands to get out. Honestly, I mean, I nearly died to traps walking out of that place. So fuck knows what would have happened to a soft, squishy boy like him. But uh, whatever. You'll know I've not sold up in school, dude. And this is because I am now aware that I have to run all the way to see Greymere at the other side of the fucking map. Which means I'm going to have to go through Fargrove. Which means I might as well sell up there. And uh, in the meantime, here's some fast forwarded running. Just for you. Salute you, noble hero. I mean, that's nice, boys, but do you mind if I, uh, yeah, thanks for blocking my entrance to salute me. That's that's really cool. Um, here we are, Fargrove. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm in this place for like three seconds. I was about to be all like, oh, Fargrove, how I'd missed you, but I, I really fucking didn't. Like, I hate to say it. I hate to say it to the civilized folk of Fargrove. But despite your countless guards and your city walls and your, you know, supposed relative security, I never get attacked by thieves in School Dune. Ramshackle old School Dune with its open gate policy. That I have no problems there. It's only in fucking Fargrove that I'm constantly accosted by roving bands of snakes and bats. Thank you. I'm I'm happy to be here. I suppose I I kind of want to buy um. My inventory's full. I kind of want to sell, <laughs> um, everything. To be honest, kind of want to sell everything. I got some good stuff. I don't think any of the good stuff I got was gooder than the stuff I've currently. Oh, I just sold some really good-looking gloves actually. But fuck it, we're just selling everything. Let's just sell everything. I can't be doing with it. How good are those? Sixteen armor. I'm only 21. Yeah, I got my gauntlets of intellect. My smart making gloves make me smart. We'll keep hold of the, the fine halberd plus five on the off chance that one day we spontaneously learn how to use halberds. Uh, but everything else, everything else can just do a big old get fucked. I need the money to buy more poison removal potions and repair kits. Those are all that matter to me, frankly. Uh, yep, take that as well. Stick that there. In fact, we don't need these potions. These potions are useless to me. I only care for two things. Three things, I guess. Health potions as well, but they are an infinite supply. Despite how many I chugged, I still seem to have an awful lot of those left. Um, but beyond that, I care for poison removal potions. And repair kits. Not even particularly bothered about uh, lockpicks. I mean, I'm keeping hold of them just in case I ever do come up against the chest that is too mighty even for my infinite capabilities. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm much more interested. Wow, you're more of a weapon shop than anything now, aren't you? I give you an awful lot of weapons. Give me a load of these, a load of these to keep me safe and not fucking dying all the time. You don't sell repair kits. That's fine. What you do do, 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 <laughs> it's always a funny word, is, is do the repairs though, don't you? That is a thing you do do. Hmm? Hmm? Isn't it? Yeah? Is that what you want to do? Do some repairs? God, that's got some, that's got some durability. It's got some durability. Why can't everything have that sort of durability? Why can't everything be 2,500 out of 2,500? Why does all my shit have to just break in three seconds? It's fine though. It's fine. I've adjusted. I've accommodated this uh, interesting design decision. Um, 74 skill points! <laughs> when, when did I get 74? It must have been all those Naga I was killing, I suppose. I... 
have a lot of skill points. I'm not going to do that here if you're going to keep saying shit. In fact, if I go outside, I'm just going to get accosted while I while I distribute my skill points. So we'll have to let's get some let's get some scout. Let's get scout up to nine. Let's get some athletics. Let's get athletics up to eight. Let's get some parry. That means I take less damage. There we go. Those are points well spent, I think. I do believe. I do say so myself. And now we just simply, merely, slightly, kind of, sort of, just need to keep going, really, don't we? That was our fabulous stop off in Fargrove. This is our, our revisiting the hometown, seeing what things are like around here. And it's still very much the same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Um, yeah, so back to fast forwarding until we see Greymere again, I suppose. Hope you're enjoying whatever song I chose for you. It's probably something awful, but pitched down so it's slightly amusing for a few seconds, right? Okay, let's go. Right. Raymere Camp. Ah. Huh. What's going on, Greymere? What's going on? Where is he waiting? Where, where is he waiting? <laughs> He's not here. Is this him? No, uh, this is a rat. Um. Okay. I understand that he wants to see me. Could you perhaps point me in his direction? This is quite a small camp. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing a great many grey mares. I'm not seeing any grey mares. I'm seeing a scorpion. Is that him? Did I did I just kill Lord Greymare? It's it's just three tents. None of them have anyone in them. And then uh, there's a few dudes walking around. Claiming they serve Lord Greymare, but uh, not actually indicating. Where said Lord Greymare is. So we're going to assume. <laughs> this is my current assumption. My hope, at least. That Greymare Senior and Junior have moved on to greener pastures. That maybe I'll bump into them elsewhere. And uh, I wasn't meant to come visit them yet, despite the fact I was just told by the Goblin King to come visit them. Yeah? Yeah. That's what we're going to go with. What we're hoping isn't the case is that a random mob spawned that was strong enough to murder them. <laughs> Me being fully aware of the fact that level 26 or something ogre trolls can spawn there. does fill me with a little bit of trepidation I'm not gonna lie I'm not uh, I'm not feeling exactly easy right now about the possibility that my quest NPCs might have been murdered but let's not think on it instead we got a pretty fucking good lead from uh, what's her face what's a lady Lover of the stars, the Star Queen, Star Starface McGee. That we need to go to the southern parts of the south and uh, get a totem to go speak with the tree people. That's a pretty clear cut objective, I think, as far as they go in this game, anyway. Bit of a vague directional uh, goal, but uh, I will take it.
And so, once more, after having run all this way, we're now going to run all the way back again. Hope whatever tra track I picked is long enough to accommodate all of this. Uh. Alright, I've been spoiling for actually murdering something. Level 24 as well, these ninjas. Worth my time, I do believe. Alright, so, here we are, back to the side of Skuldoon. Uh, we have... The Veil of Ruin. The Veil of Ruin. Is that a place we know? Not on this signpost, at least. That's fine. Big Bad Mog. Find his gang in the Forbidden Lands. Find the Hidden Treasure House. And deliver... Uh, okay, yeah, well, that's another thing we'll uh, bear in mind. I mean, we know, like, these places are all going to be around here somewhere, right? Probably. I think. The one that says it's in the Forbidden Lands, at least. Big Bad Mog is definitely going to be over here. Not certain on the Veil of Ruins, I'm just assuming on that one. Journey... Da -ba 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 -ba. Okay. But... But we can't do that until we find the totem of the tree fellas. Tree fellas totem. Uh, apparently we're, we're heading in this direction because I wasn't really paying attention and was just sort of running and now we're here. Is this is this somewhere we want to be? I was actually intending to head over here because I've noticed that on the map, which I am 100% certain is another one of these. The last one being right up here near where we just were with Greymare. But I assume we also will return to Greymare at some point, at which point we can pick that up then. But that is just a side quest and who cares, frankly. So... Yeah, this this was my original plan, but I guess we're going this way now because I don't know. I Ouija boarded that shit. I just let the the spirits take over, and this is where I ended up. And what are all those giant rock faces? I don't think I can come this way yet. I think I'm I'm stopped by the giant rock faces. Hello, giant rock faces. Can I uh, can I sneak on through you? Yeah, you do. Are you related to the guy in the catacombs? Or we shall crush your flesh and bones. Ha ha ha. They, for they forgot to voice act that line, apparently. Uh, I'd love to tell you the word. The word we must hear. Is it let me pass? Um. Okay. I guess it's not let me pass. Fuck off. I'm not fighting another tree. You know what? Actually, I am fighting another tree. These guys are level 14. I ain't afraid of them anymore. And fucking hell, they're worth some good experience. They're worth more than the ninjas who are double their level. Or nearly double their level. Remind me to murder trees more often. Deforestation is a good thing. I mean, these trees, these trees are fine. These just sit here providing me with delicious carbon dioxide, but... No, the other way around. Delicious oxygen. I don't breathe carbon dioxide. I, I, I'm a human. I do human things. But, uh... <laughs> but th th those walking trees, they're up to no good, I tell you. Just like these landfish. The walking trees and the landfish, they're the, they're the worst. This map popped back up again. I hate having to explore when I can just know things. There is, uh, something off to the... Like swamp, that's very nice. There is something over here which might be of interest. I guess I'll explore that. Just because. Just because, really. There's not really a great deal of landmarks here. I know there's that, but that's a side quest thing. And then there's these few little, what I'm assuming are tents around here. Which might be uh, possibly Big Bad Mog's camp. But we don't know that for certain. Also, here, here is a little hut. Here is a little hut. Isn't this quaint? I don't really get it, but it's very quaint. I like it. It has a lot of fire near some very flammable uh, building materials, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't judge people's ways. If that's how they want to live their life, then um, constant constant risk of fire. That's, that's on them, isn't it? Oh, it's another one of these... 
It's just another one of these. I am 80 to 90% certain that these, in some way, facilitate some sort of fast travel mechanic. And I'm 50 to 60% certain that I should have already unlocked that fast travel mechanic. The amount I've been having to, you know, fast forward, run all through here and back. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how I missed that. And at this point, I don't care to. I feel like maybe I, I'm just playing hard mode here. No fast travels. Fast travels for pussies. Real men run everywhere. And deal with the swarms of hornets on the way, you know? When life gives you hornets, make hornet pie. Mama's old fashioned hornet pie. <laughs> oh, it's just it just conjures up images. Um it's just a reference that very few people are gonna get. But uh in the dandy comic, the uh, the main character, the, the the headline character, the equivalent to Dennis the Menace, um, one Mr. Desperate Dan, used to eat cow pies, which were just an entire cow wrapped in pastry. And the more you think about that, the more horrific it is, really. Like, obviously, eating meat is a thing I do. I'm no vegetarian. But this, it, it's a lot more, it's a lot more easy to stomach the fact that you're eating an animal when it's cut up into nice little sections of, you know, pink meat. You know, a steak isn't just a cow in pastry. <laughs> you're having to chomp your way through an entire fucking animal. That's, uh, I don't know, that's a little bit horrendous to me. A little bit horrific. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I start suddenly started thinking about Desperate Dan of all of all things. That's a real throwback to my childhood. I used to buy uh, both the Dandy comic and the Beano comic every week back in the nineties. Used to be a thing I did. Oh, is this is this is this the boys? Yeah, I think this is the boys. They've all got names and shit. You know, I'm not even going to buff to beat you guys. I don't need it. You guys think you're intimidating, but you're not. You're not even slightly intimidating. You're just some fucking asshats. This guy is literally an asshat. His hat His hat looks like ass. This guy's pretty cool. I, I, I like uh, Gar Garris the Gutter. He's wielding a scythe and has a little... Uh, a little, is it racist to call that a Chinaman hat? It's probably racist to call that a Chinaman hat. I don't know what they're actually called, though. Those little uh, sun hat things they wear over in that part of the world. And then all we're left with is Big Bad Mog. Who, you know, he swings a good mace. I'm not going to pretend he doesn't. But something tells me... Actually, he, he is actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with me pretty well here. I'm going to rescind my no buffs law. You made me go all out. You've activated my uh, final form. If this was an, a an anime, I would have just like said something really cool and then took a stance you've not seen before and all my friends would have been like, oh, I didn't know he was this strong. He's, he's, still going, he's still going pretty well at me, to be fair. To be fair to the lad. Let's, let's, let's throw some more buffs around, shall we? How about these? Do these buffs... Are these buffs doing anything for you? It was awfully nice of him to just stand there blocking while I buffed up, to be honest. Party time, boys. Is it? Is it party time? I don't know. really know who you're talking to there, because all your boys are dead. It's just you and me, Big Bad Mog. But I'm honestly, you're pretty big and bad. Like, I, I can't deny. Like, your, your blows keep knocking me back and all sorts. Ooh -wee. Lucky that leveled me up because I was I was in a mess after that. I was in a rat state. Oh, oh, we're getting we're getting Karis the gutter's rad shit. We're getting the rad shit. Did I loot the wizard? I don't even know whether wizard died anymore. 
Ass Hat McGee, I like to call him. There he is. Didn't think we looted him. I really pushed him quite a distance, didn't I? I bet his ass hat's going to be really good, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. That's good. Right, what are my shoulders? Seven armor. How are these? Five armor, but two strike. The more damage. Did we go for the more... I, th I think we go for the more damage. Plus that I can be a super... Oh, they, they kind of look kind of dumb, though, kind of. No, we'll stick with the armor. They look good on him. He was able to rock the look, but... No, not for me, I don't think. Ooh. Ooh. Intellect and agility. But mine are like power and strike and critical and stuff. I, I don't know if mine are actually... Guys. I'm trying to number crunch here. I'm trying to look at my stats. I'm trying to mull some things over. And this is not getting you anywhere. Right. I mean, I gave them ample opportunity. You can't say I'm not generous. They had all the time in the world to reconsider their options. I really am out of an anime, aren't I? I am straight out. I am straight out of a bad anime. It's brilliant. Really. Really. As I was then, the um, thing I was really interested in is this. Which, uh... 35% chance of bleeding wound, 2 to 20 damage. 7 foot range? Fucking hell, I'd love to use that bad boy. I just It's not actually as much damage as mine, but I think that that other fancy shit it does, like the plus 3 critical, probably makes it better. Plus it's really cool looking. We're going to hold on to that instead of that now, in the hopes that one day we might understand what pole arms are. I think it's probably a bit late though. I think I, I was meant to have got all my class shit sorted out back by Elf Town. I think now we're we're meant to be meant to have a course and we're probably not gonna deviate from that anymore. I think it might be too late for me to become a pole arm boy. I mean I probably could go back and do the quest to uh, unlock whichever class it is that's allowed to use pole arms. Don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware that that is probably an option for me. But it's all the way over there, and I'm all the way over here. You know what I mean? You, you understand? You're picking up what I'm putting down. It's 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 really really far. And as previously discussed, I'm too dumb to understand how fast travel works. So uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be a negative. I'd quite like to go back to using a two-hander, though. It's kind of sad that the most damaging weapon i found in the game so far is a one-hander. It kind of it kind of leaves me a little bit... Uh... There we go. Two of three. See, we accomplished something today. It wasn't all just running around like a fucking spastic. I really like that word. I know I shouldn't. I know it's a bad word to use. I really like it. It just it just flows off the tongue. It's like retard more so. It's like super retard. And you're not even meant to say retard anymore either. And the thing is, right, if I use words like that, let, let me get real with you here. If I use words like that, I'm not referring to someone who is actually mentally disabled, you know? I got all the sympathy in the world for the mentally disabled, but it's just a fun insult to call someone when they're being dumb, you know? It's fun, it's a good word, it, it, just, it just slaps, it slaps does the word spastic. Okay, I'm not welcome here, well that's fine, I understand. You guys are worth a lot of experience points to me. So, uh, as much as I'd love to heed your wishes and go about my day and leave you in peace, leveling up is a very nice, it's a very nice feeling. There's a lot of catharsis in leveling up. If I know anything about game design, and of course I do, I am the expert in these parts, then uh, it's that leveling up 
is what people play video games for half the fucking time, you know? That's why there's all those really shitty idle clicker games and shit on mobile where literally all you do is level up, where there's no gameplay at all and it's just leveling up the game. Huh. Hi, Warglaw, leader of your tribe. Uh, I need the totem with the tree. Totem of the tree is sacred to my tribe. We speak of the spirits of the forest. Do you not miss the totem of the tree? Warglaw wants to know how much do you offer the totem. Uh, a thousand gold. Uh, okay, well, I need the totem of the tree, and I'll offer ten thousand gold. Ooh, that was, that was a big investment. But I do still have 67,000 gold left, so... And look, I'll tell you what, as a bonus, I'll clear these scorpions out of your camp. Throw that in for free. That's out of the goodness of my own heart, because I'm a good boy, really. What is all this you're selling? What are all these? What's my necklace doing? Oh, a lot of good shit. My necklace is doing a lot of good shit. I don't, I don't think you can, you can beat my necklace, sorry. Can repair my 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 weapon though, because that's once again pretty fucking fucked. My armor's doing all right these days. It's just generally not breaking for a while, but my weapon is not lasting me. I think that's another reason I need a two-hander. They have higher durability. And hey, look, durability on this 400. Mine's only 250, and I swing it more often. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Got to check out how good the purple heart was, but. I don't think I would have used it regardless, so, uh... Wish I'd stop picking up mana potions. Who, who thinks I have a purpose for mana potions? These guys, obviously. This game, obviously, thinks that mana potions are worthwhile to me, but... Spoilers. They're not. They're really, really not. Let's just see what's over here before we... I don't know why I'm doing that when I can literally just press F5 if I want to know what's over here. Oh, look. It's fucking nothing. <laughs> um... Right, so now that we've got that, we can go through one of these passageways. I can't remember which one it was. Might have even been this passageway. I think it was this passageway. Now that we've got that, we can go through this passageway, which will allow us through here into there to get the thing that we need to go to the place in there, which will get us to the, the place with the item that we need to get to complete the game. Or one of the items we need to get to complete the game. But, you know, every step has to start somewhere. That's not the saying at all. Every journey has to start with the first step. That's That sounds like a saying. That sounds like a saying. And it's kind of sad that this is episode 16... 16, I think. And I'm only now talking about taking first steps. But them's the breaks, I think. Hello, what do we have here? You know, I was about to log off, but I found a thing and I kind of want to I kind of want to see what it is before we wrap this whole video up. Just deal with these hornets. See, this is just like a tiny little orange dot on the map, right? In my head this was just a campfire. But this is a fucking massive blue dot, and that's just one of those little shrine things I can't use. can be very misleading, the map in this game. Very misleading indeed. To be fair, it doesn't look like there's much here. Just, uh... Just a house, isn't it? Just a house. I was kind of hoping this would be, uh... The, 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 the place where Big Bag Mog stores his shit. Now that I've got his key and everything. It looks like there is an upstairs. But I'm not... Hello. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I would go about getting up to the upstairs. Given the complete lack of any sort of ladder. Let's give it one more scout round. I don't think there's anything here though. This is just for show. It's just there, we've got nothing in this corner. Let's just slap that, that nice little building model that Dave made down. Give me your yolks, thank you. I, lo I love a bit of yolk in the morning. 
especially when it's spider flavored. Yeah, I don't th I don't think there's anything here, honestly. I think this is a whole lot of nothing, and that probably makes it a nice place to stop playing for the night. The night? It's 10:52 in the morning. I'm not stopping playing for the night. I'm stopping playing for other reasons such as real life. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching this video. I apologize for it, as I always do. <laughs> and I will stop playing now before these guys reach me. Uh, bye for now.